Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, we will be covering Mule Migration Assistant, that is MMA. Um, we will be covering like how we can convert a Mule3.x based application to Mule4.x version. <clears throat> there are some uh, prerequisites to that. Um, this MMA will work only on AnyPoint Studio um, with 7.3 version onwards and um, there are some more uh, settings as well which you need to configure so let's get started so this is the official uh, MuleSoft uh, github repo detail uh, for this Mule migration assistant i will be giving this link in the description section of this particular video so it starts with a lot of theory but uh, we will touch base only the important one you can go into the deep of it okay so it gives the option like you can download this mule migration assistant and it, it is a zip file just click on it and it will start downloading and it asks for like uh, the minimum requirement version is 730 for any point studio and you can download uh, the version from the um, mule site as well and as there is external link as well which is being available so without any further uh, ado let's get started so in order to start this mule migration assistant there is a uh, requirement like we should have a working mule 3 project so what i have done uh, I, I i already have a uh, any point studio uh, which is supporting 3.x this this is I think 6.4 version of any point studio if I am not wrong and let me show you so in this particular uh, okay let me show you what is the version I am using mm -hmm. okay One second, guys. So this is six six four, as I mentioned. Okay. So I will close this out. Just don't want to see this again. So I just want to explain this particular flow. What is it is all about? It is basically HTTP GET operation, in which we will be sending a query param uh, as well. Okay. So GET account details, and after that we are uh, just simply uh, printing this message that uh, GET account details flow is being triggered. After that, there is a MySQL uh, database call is there, in which we are going to fetch. Uh, a particular account ID from the accounts table um, and the account ID is being sent through the message dot inbound properties HTTP query params and the account ID will be the name of uh, that query param through which um, this where condition will be fulfilled as usual to configure the MySQL configuration I have used uh, 8016 version of the MySQL jar I will be giving this uh, project uh, as part of my uh, github repo so uh, you can check it over there but this is fairly simple nothing uh, fancy in it i'm just checking the test connection just to make sure it is working fine so it is good i click on ok and after that there is an object to json and then finally there is a logger and it is being completed so let's quickly first test this uh, multi version So it is now deployed. Let me clear out the console and try to hit from the postman. So instead of account ID 99, I will put 100 and give, and give it an enter. So here you can see the result is coming back. I can show the same result in um, uh, MySQL database as well. So you can see um, uh, the name is fair and uh, account ID 100. So fair and account ID 100. 
so it is working fine for mil3 so let me quickly stop this uh, execution you can see the flow triggered and the flow completed that's what uh, we uh, we were interested right so let me close this studio and uh, now it is the time to start the migration so as i mentioned uh, we have already downloaded this uh, mule migration uh, mule migration assistant runner from that zip and we have simply unzipped it now it it is now with lips and this jar to in order to run this particular jar you can just uh, open the command prompt over here and it will be something like this okay and give me a moment uh, and there is a particular command in order to run and uh, let me show you first over here and then uh, we will go so this is about java jar we are going to run this jar file then the mule version 430 i want to convert and project base path this particular will be the mule 3 base path of the project and after that the destination project this could be a different workspace or uh, you have to specify the location at which you want to create the mule 4 version of the project and that's it fairly simple right so I have just copied the same stuff. I have changed the location of my Mule 3 project. That is test and given the location of my Mule 4 project. So I will try to run this command. I will go to the command prompt and copy paste the same. So it is giving me error because I am not on the same page. So what I am going to do now. Let me um, open up once again. I will go to this project and right click and go to the services, open new terminal. So here we go. So I am going to run the same command again. So now it is executing the migrator and it shows migration assistant range successfully. And uh, uh, this is the summary HTML that is the report which is getting created so i will just copy paste this path and open this in my browser so here you can see some couple of things like uh, first of all after migrating to mule 4 we need to add jdbc driver again apart from that we are having some warnings and that is inbound and the outbound properties are being referred and in mule 4 we don't use that so we need to change or remove those basically and there is one info like streaming is enabled by default so if you don't want it you can disable it as well so having said that uh, let's try to open our endpoint studio 7.6 that is the latest version and i will try to import the uh, available project so what i will do i will right click and uh, go to the import we'll select the project we'll give the path of this new project so this was a migrated mule 4 as i can show you um, migrated mule 4 right so i will open this i will name this project as uh, test one two three and we'll click on finish so it is now asking me to perform an update um, so basically it is MMP version which needs to be updated so I will click on perform update and that should be fine okay now here you can see it is coming under test 123 and this is the test XML and these are couple of things which are not being supported within mule 4 so what I will do I will simply uh, delete these uh, three things now I will go to the database because if you check under the reports check on the reports this summary HTML is being created right and it shows add suitable JDBC driver dependency for this connection so I am going to do the same I will select the global elements go to the database configuration go on edit and will configure with the local file i will be using the same local file which i have used for mule 3 as well so 
I will open this one, click on OK. I will click on test connection. It is taking some time. So it is successful now. I will click on OK now and we'll go back to the message flow. Let's quickly see if it is, uh, uh, if it has broken anything. So here you can see uh, like it is coming entirely in this thing. So in order to make, make it uh, working, we need to make some changes. As inbound properties are no longer supported, we have to remove this and account ID. And over here, you have to just click on this FX and you have to pass the same. That is account ID. And from where it will pick up the value? Where's dot, not where's, should be from attributes. You can use a variable as well, but I will directly go with that. Query parents dot account ID. I will save this and I will run it again. So there is no other change uh, required at any at any other level. So it is now building the project and within moment we should be good. So now it is deployed. Let me clear up the console and go back to the my postman. We'll try to hit the same request. And you can see I got the response back. And over here, uh, you can see the two loggers which are printing like get account detail flow trigger and flow completed. So this particular video was uh, a very short uh, demonstration of uh, mule migration assistant. You, you can choose the sa same approach for even a complex uh, Mule 3 based project and uh, likewise we have debugged uh, using uh, the report which has been generated. So similarly, there are some connectors which have been supported and some are not. So for more details, you have to go through the official documentation. I can give the link of the same and uh, so just to keep you updated there are some other links as well migrating to mule 4 and what what precautions we need to take so i will be giving all those detail within uh, of these hyperlinks within the uh, description part of this particular video i hope you like this video and i wish you a great day ahead thank you